Did you know that our sun is not on the fire? Yes, of course we are taught in school the sun is a burning fireball, but it is not. How the sun burns when the fire needs oxygen to burn and there is no oxygen in space. So what is happening in the sun? The sun produces energy through a process called nuclear fusion. Nuclear fusion is when tiny particles called protons, which are the nuclei of hydrogen atoms, come together to form a new element, helium. This process happens in the sun's core, where conditions are extremely hot and under intense pressure. The sun's core is incredibly hot, around 27 million degrees Fahrenheit, which is 15 million degrees Celsius. This extreme heat gives the proton enough energy to overcome their natural repulsion for each other. When protons collided with enough force, they combine to form helium, which releases a lot of energy in the process. This reaction produces energy in the form of light and heat. The energy released in the core travels outward to the sun's surface and then radiates into space as sunlight. This process is ongoing and has been happening for about 4.6 billion years. So the second time someone tells you that the sun is a ball of fire, explain it to them. But today's topic is different. We all love space, but we know a lot wrong about this space. I will reveal 15 such lies. I am Sorasis Chakravarti, you watching Astro Sorasis. Get ready and join me to learn 15 truths about this space. The moon has a dark side. The idea that the moon has a dark side is a bit of misunderstanding. The moon is tidally locked to earth, meaning it always shows the same face to us. The other side of the moon, which we never see from earth, is called the far side or the dark side. The far side of the moon gets as much as sunlight as the side facing us, so it's not actually darker, it just never faces earth. The term dark side is misleading and refers to the fact that it is hidden from our view, not that it is dark or unlit. We have sent spacecraft to map and study the far side of the moon. It has different features compared to the side we see, including more craters and fewer large flat areas called maria. Now you will see the moon differently. Your weight, nothing in space. Not exactly in space, you don't weigh anything, but you do experience weightlessness. Your weight is the force of gravity pulling on you. Mass is how much matter you are made of. Your mass stays the same whether you are in space or on earth. In space, you experience microgravity, which means the gravitational pull is very weak. This makes you feel weightless even though gravity is still acting on you. Spacecraft and astronauts are free fall around Earth or other celestial bodies. Since they are falling at the same rate as everything inside them, it feels like there is no gravity. So while you don't weigh anything in space, you don't feel your weight due to the sensation of free fall. Space is not completely silent. Yes, it's kind of true that space is silent. Sound needs a medium like air or water to travel through. Space is a vacuum, which means there is no air or other materials for sound waves to move through. Sound waves are vibrations that travel through a medium. In space, there are no particles to vibrate and carry sound waves, so sound can't travel. Because of the lack of medium, space is silent. Even though there might be things happening in space like explosions or collisions, we can hear them because there is no way for those sound waves to reach us. The Great Wall of China is visible from space. The idea that the Great Wall of China is visible from space is a bit of a myth. While the wall is an impressive structure, it's not easily visible to the naked eye from space without special equipment. Astronauts in low Earth orbit have reported that it's difficult to see the wall clearly due to its narrow width and its color, which blends with the surrounding landscape. You would need high-resolution cameras and specific conditions to capture a clear image of it from space. The moon landing was fake. The idea that the moon landing was fake is a conspiracy theory with no credible evidence to support it. The Apollo 11 mission, where astronauts first landed on the moon in 1969, was followed by six more successful Apollo missions. These missions brought back rock samples, conducted experiments, and even set up scientific instruments that are still studied today. Modern satellites and space missions have captured images of Apollo landing sites. 
This picture shows the equipment left behind by the astronauts and the tracks of their rover vehicles. The technology and calculations required for landing on the moon were well documented and verified. The engineers and scientists who worked on the Apollo missions left behind extensive records and physical evidence of their work. Thousands of people worked on the Apollo program, from engineering to astronauts. It would have been extremely difficult to keep such a large-scale deception a secret. Many of these people have spoken publicly about their experiences and the authenticity of the missions. The experiments left on the moon like the lunar laser ranging, retroreflectors still send back data. Scientists use this to measure the distance between the Earth and the Moon with high precision. In summary, the evidence strongly supports that the Moon landings were real and the conspiracy theories lack credible support. Black holes suck everything in The idea that black holes suck everything in is a bit of simplification. A black hole is an extremely dense object with a strong gravitational pull. This means it attracts objects toward it, but only if they come very close. Black holes have a strong gravitational pull near them, but they don't suck up everything around them. If you are far away, their gravity is no stronger than that of any other object of the same mass. When matter gets too close to a black hole, it forms a swirling disk around it, called an acceleration disk, and can fall into a black hole. The boundary around a black hole where the gravitational pull becomes too strong for anything, not even light, to escape is called the event horizon. When something crosses this boundary, it cannot get out. So if we change our solar system to a black hole instead of the sun, some of the planets in our solar system will still orbit it. Space is perfect vacuum No, space isn't a perfect vacuum, but it's very close to one. A vacuum is a space with no matter in it. A perfect vacuum would have absolutely no particles at all. Outer space has very few particles, like atoms and molecules, so it's considered a vacuum. However, it's not completely empty. There are still a few particles per cubic meter, and there can be dust, gas, and cosmic rays. In space, the density of matter is extremely low compared to Earth. For example, in interstellar space, there might be just a few atoms per cubic meter. So while space is very close to being a vacuum, is not a perfect one. Earth is the only planet with water. Earth isn't the only planet with water, but it is unique for having liquid water on its surface in large amounts. Earth has lots of water in oceans, lakes, and rivers. This is crucial for supporting life as we know it. Mars has water, but mostly in the form of ice. There's evidence that liquid water might have existed in the past. Some of Jupiter's and Saturn's moons, like Europa and Enceladus, have ice-covered oceans beneath their surface. These oceans could have liquid water. Scientists have found planets outside our solar system that might have water, but we don't have detailed information yet. So Earth is the only planet with water is a myth. Space travel causes instant aging. According to Einstein theory of relativity, time moves slower for objects moving very fast compared to those at rest. So if you travel close to the speed of light, time for you would pass more slowly compared to someone on Earth. This means you could age more slowly relative to people who are not traveling at such high speeds. In practice, space travel today doesn't involve speeds anywhere near the speed of light. So the effects of time dilation are tiny and not noticeable for astronauts. For example, astronauts on the International Space Station age just slightly slower than people on Earth due to their high-speed orbit. But the differences are minuscule. Space travel does not come with other health concerns such as muscle and bone loss, radiation exposure, and psychological stress. But these are unrelated to instant aging. Stars twinkle because they are falling. No, stars twinkle not because they are falling, but because of how their light travels through Earth atmosphere. Stars appear to twinkle because their light passes through different layers of the Earth's atmosphere which are moving and have varying temperatures and densities. This causes the light to bend and change direction, making the stars seem to flicker or change brightness. Stars themselves are not falling or changing. They shine steadily in space. The twinkle effect is just an optical illusion caused by our atmosphere. Sun is yellow. The sun is often described as yellow, but that's not entirely accurate. Sunlight includes all colors of light mixed together. When you look at it in space, it looks white because it's all those colors combined. When sunlight enters Earth's atmosphere, it gets scattered. Shorter blue and violet light waves scatter more, making the sun appear yellow. 
orange or red, especially when it's low in the sky, like during sunrise or sunset, so the sun itself is white, but it can look yellow, orange or red from Earth due to the way the atmosphere scatters light. Aliens have visited Earth, but we don't know. The idea that aliens have visited Earth but we don't know about it is a popular topic in science fiction and conspiracy theories, but there is no solid evidence to support it. Scientists and experts have not found any reliable proof that extraterrestrial beings have come to Earth. Despite many claims and stories, there is no verified proof, like physical evidence or credible sightings, that aliens have visited Earth. Scientists actively search for signs of extraterrestrial life using methods like scanning for radio signal or studying distant planets. So far, these efforts haven't confirmed any visits or contact. Some events or sightings are unexplained. But that doesn't mean they are caused by aliens. They could be due to other factors like misidentified aircraft, natural phenomena, or even hoaxes. The Moon is a Dead Planet The Moon is not a planet at all. It's a natural satellite that orbits Earth. The term dead planet usually refers to a planet that no longer has geological activity. But the moon is not considered a planet. The moon does not have the same kind of geological activity as Earth, like volcanoes or earthquakes. Most of its surface has been stable for billions of years. The moon's surface is covered with craters from impacts with asteroids and comets. It doesn't have active processes that reshape its surface, like volcanic activity. Scientists study the moon to understand more about its history and the history of the solar system. The moon's surface is like a record of what happened in the early solar system. So while the moon is not dead in literal sense, it doesn't have the active geological processes that we see on Earth. All celestial bodies rotate in the same direction. Not all celestial bodies rotate in the same direction. Most, including planets in our solar system, rotate in the same directions as they orbit their stars, which is counterclockwise when viewed from above their north poles. This is due to the way the solar system formed from a spinning disk of a gas and dust. However, there are exceptions. Venus rotates in the opposite direction, which is clockwise, compared to most other planets. This is known as retrograde rotation. Uranus is unique because it rotates on its side with its axis nearly parallel to its orbit. The moon is getting closer to Earth. Actually, the moon is slowly moving away from Earth, not getting closer. This happens because of the way gravity works between the Earth and the moon. The gravitational pull between them creates tides on Earth, which gradually slows down Earth's rotation. As a result, the moon slowly drifts away from Earth at a rate of about 3.8 cm per year. So over very long periods, the distance between the Earth and the Moon increases, not decreases. A bonus myth for you, which is some people think the Sun is a solid sphere of fire. But no, it's not true that the Sun is a solid sphere of fire. It's a massive ball of hot glowing gases, mainly hydrogen and helium. Unlike a solid object, the Sun doesn't have a solid surface. It's made up of plasma, which is superheated, electrically charged gas. The sun doesn't burn like a fire on Earth, instead it generates energy through nuclear fusion, where hydrogen atoms combine to form helium, releasing enormous amounts of energy in the process. So today, we uncover some common space myths, which people have been thinking through for years. The next time someone tells you a space myth, it's your responsibility to correct them. If you found this video fascinating, check out our other videos about this universe. And don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comment below. I would love to hear what you think about these space myths. Thanks for watching.